So hello and welcome to uh, the Lewis Nichols Show. And I'm really excited to bring on my next guest today, who's got so many projects uh, to talk about because we're here in lockdown and you seem to be making uh, the most out of your time. So let's say hello to Connor. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Right, well, I was going to say, how's <laughs> kind of lockdown been for you? Because I know that you're you're keeping busy. We've got lots of uh, some of your projects to talk about. But how have you found the, the whole thing, you know, actually being locked yeah. down and, and your freedom kind of taken away in that sense? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's it's been a very challenging, um, you know, year um, for for like for a lot of, for a lot of people. Um, for me, like personally, like I just kind of took the opportunity to try and think of like what can I focus on, what can I sort of control. You know, I, I have been fortunate enough to have certain opportunities um, come my way, so I've like you know taken them with um, both hands and just try and you know make the most out of them because obviously you know your freedom is limited, like you said. Um, but yeah, you know, lockdown for me was wasn't too too bad i was in, i was one of the fortunate few because you know i managed to meet my girlfriend you know um which was amazing you know but it definitely helped um you know make lockdown not as um you know daunting but um yeah like, obviously having the show with my father as well which has been an incredible experience you know i'm very very lucky to um have been able to experience that and yeah, now launching my uh, new fitness business as well, which has been, um, you know, something I've always wanted to do. And I'm buzzing to, you know, finally be able to, you know, get the ball rolling. I mean, many of us will know you, uh, of course, from your time on Love Island, one of the most successful uh, reality shows on TV. What was yeah. it about the show that made you feel, do you know what, I'm going to go on this? Because it just opens up a, a door of fame. It's it's a crazy show. What made you want to you know, apply? Yeah, well, I mean, do you know what? I, I've... I've been approached, I was approached to um, sort of like apply for the show like for, for about two or three years. Um, and I'd always said, I always said, oh, no, do you know, like I, I couldn't see myself doing it. I couldn't see myself doing it. And then the, I think it was like the third year that I was asked. Um, I thought, do you know what, like I was single. I thought, like, you know, life is short. It could be an incredible experience. Just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to be any worse off um, going on there. You know, you just have to kind of have the as long as you're aware of the fact that you're putting yourself out there to be sort of criticised and, um, you know, obviously, like, hopefully liked, but potentially criticised as well, um, which is one of the, it just comes with the territory. But I went in there and, you know, I thoroughly enjoy my experience. It's, it's crazy. Like, you, I go from one, like, you know, one side of the country, I'm watching them on telly and I'm thinking, you know, that's mad. And then the next thing you know, you're in the villa and you're talking to the people that you see on telly. is so a really surreal experience, really surreal. How do you kind of deal with, because obviously with that show, you go on there and I mean, I know before that you were modelling uh, and stuff like that. So you were you were known, but obviously the show catapults you to a different level of fame. And like you said, you're open up to, to people to have opinions on social media. How did you yeah. deal with that kind of overnight fame that came with it? Was it tough at times? Yeah, yeah it is. Um, it was it was a bit jarring. Like you. you I'd be walking, you know, through the city centre when I got home and stuff, and then, you know, you, you see, like, people sort of looking over you and, like, they kind of, like, pointing and whispering and thinking, oh, I think that's Connor from the show, blah, blah, blah. But, and sometimes I would forget that I'd been on the show, like, you know, I'd just yeah. be carrying on on my normal day-to-day -day life, and then I see these people are looking at me, like, oh, why, why, why are they looking at me? I'm just, you know, I'm just going about my day. But then you realise, oh, actually, they might recognise you from being on the show. Um, so, yeah, it it's, it's, it's the biggest show. Well, it's one of the biggest shows in the UK, isn't it? So, um yeah, definitely is. It, it takes a little bit of adjustment. Um, but yeah, you know, I feel like my experience was good. Um, you know, there is the potential to be, you know, having a bit of negative feedback, but I was lucky enough, I feel like I didn't get too much of that, which is, um, you know, I'm very thankful for. Because, um, yeah, because that could be tough. It could be tough yeah. getting people, you know, <laughs> constantly hearing abuse at you. But um, yeah, you've. I think you've definitely got to have a little bit of thick skin for it. I think the good thing about you was it, it was refreshing because you get a lot of cool guys in it, but you were just so genuine and you were relatable mm -hmm. as well. And I think um, whether you were a, a guy or a girl, everyone just, just liked you. I mean, when you think back to your time on the show and having watched some of it back, um, mm -hmm. what stands out as kind of some moments that you found really funny or even cringy? Is there kind of moments that you look back to and you're kind of like, oh, God, I can't believe I did that? Yeah. Yeah. Is there? Was there any moments like yeah. that? That's what you're asking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, I mean, obviously, <laughs> yeah, like looking back, I, I don't like watching myself. I don't like watching myself at all. Um, like even when I was with my modeling job as well, I wouldn't like looking at the images of myself. Like I cringe myself out. But um, I, I feel like one of the 
yeah, probably the cringy moments for me on the show was that whole dance challenge thing. Because Christ, like, <laughs> you know, I may be mixed race enough Caribbean blood, but I haven't got the rhythm. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Won't be seen but, on the Oh, no, not anytime soon, not anytime soon. But, um, yeah, probably that, I would say, is the cringiest. But it's all fun, isn't it? do you know what I mean? It's something yeah. that, like, it's, it's a memory of a lifetime. It pushes you out of your comfort zone. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, I mean, you, you've done so well. You, you've taken every opportunity that's come from your time on the show. And, I mean, let's, well, let's start with, obviously, you're filming a, a TV show with your dad. So, I mean, how did yeah. that actually come about? Were you approached to do this show? Yeah, yeah. So, essentially, how, um, what it was... Um, I was contacted by um, my, you know, my management. They let me know. They said that there's talks of doing a show um, because me and my father speak Welsh. So uh, it's kind of in the, they, the, the idea was they wanted to sort of, because we were in isolation, the, um, the word for isolate in Welsh um, is Anessi, which is like island. It also means island. So they wanted to play on the word Oh, maybe how about like, you know, you and your dad explored all the different sort of islands around Wales. And, um, you know, because I've even though I'm from Wales, I've never I've never experienced much of it. I've never traveled to much of it other than South Wales. So I've never been up to the north. I've never been to West Wales. So, um, yeah, it was an it was an opportunity to go and see what the country's got to offer. And it was amazing. Like we were set, we were set like all these different challenges and activities that I've never really, I've never done before. Like we went to, you know, we flew in a helicopter. We did like um, cliff jumping, rock climbing, um, kayaking, all these things that I've never really done before and pushing me out of my comfort zone. It was just amazing. And obviously getting to do that with my father as well, which, which is class. I'm so thankful for this, something that I can, you know, look back on for the rest of my life. Um, and yeah, we, we, that's going to be coming out, um, I think soon next month in february i believe um just still waiting to hear for confirmation and then we'll be in talks for a, a second season as well but it's kind of i would the way i would describe it is like kind of um raking dad with Brady wash is similar to that yeah. so you know there's a lot of a um, bit of banter between me and the old man you know i'm always trying to like call him out and try to push him <laughs> and he's obviously doing the same because He's, um, he's a bit of a character, my dad, um, and you'll see that when you watch the show. He's, he's got a big personality, um, and yeah, yeah, I think it'll be really good. Doing a show like that with your dad, I mean, I'm not sure if you were close prior to it, but did it bring you closer together, you know, doing something like that with him? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, me and my dad have always been close, um, but yeah, just have, being able to have that sort of, um, you know, that time together definitely um, has brought us closer, Um you know, because there's a shared experience, um, and yeah, and we spent a good, a good few months filming together, and it was just, it was just an amazing um, experience. So I'm super, super glad and lucky that um, I've been able to have that, and he's loved it as well, which I've loved. And you know, he he definitely loves being in front of the camera. He's a big <laughs> show off, man, let me tell you. <laughs> well, was it a it. new experience for him? Had, had he had kind of experience with doing any TV work before? Because I mean, that must have been a bit of a, yeah. a shock. He has. Yeah, no, he has. He has. He's um he's done fits before. Um, like he's 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 appeared on like television a few times. Um, just like doing like sort of interviews and because he's got he's had quite like um like a rich sort of history where he he sort of decided to learn Welsh to help me and my sister. Um, you, you know, in school and there's not many. There's not a bit uh, high representation of like sort of ethnic backgrounds to speak Welsh. So, um, you know, it is is definitely interesting when you do come across someone that has taken the time to learn the language and um he's been on telly a few times for that um but yeah in terms of like having like you know your own series no that's definitely a first for both of us you know what i mean not many people can say that um yeah yeah for sure that's gonna be exciting to watch and we can all see that here in the uk it's going to be on i guess it'll be on sky and and all the the channels here. yeah yeah so it's, it'll it'll be available um so it'll be available on on s4c which is you know is not just in Wales, it's in, it's in the whole, across the whole UK, you can get the cha uh, channel and there will be subtitles as well. Obviously, if you can't speak Welsh, you can understand what's going on. Um, but yeah, it'll be available for everyone to see. It's impressive because I've never heard any, anyone speak Welsh before. And I was watching a, an interview you did, it was online. And then you, I was like, whoa, hang on a minute. And there were subtitles there, but I couldn't believe, I've never heard anyone fluently speak Welsh. It was in incredible yeah. to see because not a lot of, um, a lot of my yeah. Welsh guests, when I've asked them before, they, they say they can't actually speak the language. Yeah, it's it's um it's it's a bit of a shame, really, because like you wouldn't go to you wouldn't go to Spain, and then you know majority of people would don't speak Spanish. You wouldn't go to yeah. they, they wouldn't speak uh, Italian. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's definitely growing. Um, and I am like is 
I do, I'm really thankful that I've got the skill because you want to keep the language going, don't you really? You want to sort of, and I want, I want to teach my kids, you know, how yeah. to speak Welsh as well. Um, because it brought these sort of opportunities for me. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's, it is a weird sound, sounding language if, you, if you're not used to it. For me, it's just normal. Yeah. But um, yeah, I can imagine it does sound a little strange if you've never heard it before. Have you ever used it to like impress a girl? Because you know, like French and Spanish accents, girls <laughs> love that. Have you ever like spoke Welsh yeah. and they're kind of like, oh my God, this is amazing. Well, I mean, it's not the most romantic sound <laughs> of language. Like my girlfriend always tells me, she's like, oh, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? I'm like, yeah, it is a little bit sometimes, but um yeah it, it's not it doesn't sound quite the same as french it doesn't have the same effect but yeah. i mean going back to the first lockdown um fitness was a big thing for for everyone a lot of people you know you were stuck at home and people had nothing to do really but exercise and i know that was a massive part for you so mm -hmm. tell us about your fitness app yeah yeah so um like you said lockdown is um it kind of it's kind of given a lot of people you know time to do things that they wouldn't normally do um and i feel like you know health and fitness is something that is something that is massive that helps with a lot of people's mental health you know gives people a sort of a, a release um you know something to get up and do every day instead of just like you know hanging around the house all day doing nothing and sort of just existing um so yeah I, i've this is something i've always wanted to do um is have a career in fitness is something that i planned on doing even before going on love island um and now I've got the platform to reach a wider audience and sort of help share my passion of health and fitness because a lot of people, you know, they are getting on the bandwagon now and they want to sort of take care of their health and invest in them themselves. So, um, yeah, I've got a new sort of platform and um, an app now that can sort of help people with that where I'll be coaching them, sort of designing all their workouts from specifically tailor-made custom for the goal so you could come to me and you say you know what Connor I want to lose a little bit of fat uh, ready for the summer to look good hopefully when we can travel again if that's actually a thing who knows but um you try to yeah. tell me something <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying you're looking good mate. you're looking good <laughs> but um yeah like you would come to me with a specific goal and then I would design your plan for you and then it's all on the app then super easy to use like you get all your meals come through for the day all your um your training sessions come through and then it's as simple as that um and yeah and I, I just want to help people be the sort of best version of, of themselves really so yeah and what's the name of the app where can people can you just go on your app store and download it is that how it works um so yeah it's is um at the moment is it's nearly finished the app will be completely finished by um the end of this month but at the moment i've got the early bird starter page um going so it's coached by connor that's what it's called um and i've been promoting it all over my like social media so if you need to find it you can find it there but um yeah the app will be completely finished by the end of the month yeah and what would you say, because a lot of people, they find fitness a, a daunting thing and almost pressurising, like uh, a lot of mm. people have expectations that they should yeah. have lost X amount of weight or made this progress by a week. What would you say mm. to those people at home that kind of think, mm. yeah, I'm never going to get a, a body like you uh, and, you know, other yeah. people that they see on Instagram? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for the people, that, um, you know, what I would say to them is that it can be daunting, but you know, everyone starts somewhere like for myself, I've got my own experience. I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've been, um, you know, quite underweight when I was young. I was, I was, I was just literally a stick figure. And then I've also had periods where I've been quite overweight, where I've been about, you know, 17, 18 stone, which is quite, is, is quite big. Um, so yeah, I, I completely understand that it can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be, um, you know, you make it fun, you make it into something that you enjoy doing because then that's how you stick at it. That's how you, you know, you repeat it. If you, if you, if you do something that you're not really enjoying and you find difficult, you're not going to want to do it. So, um, I would say find something that you enjoy doing. If that's going for a walk, walk your dog, playing football, um, you know, just anything sort of really to get you moving a bit. And, um, and then you could take it a step further if you want to, then you could start learning how to, you know, utilizing things that you've got lying around your house to sort of get a little yeah. quick 10 minute workout in um and you, you just need to be creative with it really and that's where obviously if you do, you are stuck with coming up for ideas that's where someone like myself can come in and sort of guide you and give you you know advice on how to you know um lose a bit of weight or get a bit of muscle or whatever really whatever your goals are um because i know it can be confusing there's a lot of conflicting information yeah. out there when it comes to fitness um so it's nice to have someone there that can sort of you know keep you on track and give you a bit of accountability what I think is incredible is hearing you. I mean, you, you've gone on this show and you, you've come from it and you've just 
smashed it. I mean, anyone who, who follows you on social media is you're someone that just you, you're always doing something. And I guess um, talking to you today, it seems like if you've got an idea, you're going to see it through it and make sure it works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, you've got to take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. So, um, you know, I was very fortunate enough to go on the show and it's, it's opened a lot of doors for me. So, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And I, and I want to keep growing, you know, I want to, I want to keep helping people and um, help them reach their goals. And just, yeah, because it's, it's, it's a passion of mine. It's a passion of mine. I'm always going to enjoy doing it. So, yeah. So, obviously, we, we've got the TV show and we, we spoke about the app. Is there anything else that you're working on that you can tell us about or you want to mention? Um, so, yeah, also, also uh, the first show um, will be coming up soon. We're going to be we're in talks for uh, potentially a second one as well, which would be incredible. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled for that, the announcement. Um, and yeah, other than that, I think that's, that's I've just been flat out focusing all my time and energy on the fitness side of things, and I really want to, you know, sort of smash that. And um, yeah, that's that's the goal. So for, for this year, and then who knows, next year we'll be expanding the empire. Well, Connor, honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure getting you on the show. Um, you know, to talk about your time on Love Island, but I wanted to hear more about the the show you're doing with your dad and your app because just you know the fact that you're doing mm -hmm. so much, I think, is awesome. So thank you so much for taking the time today, and um, yeah, good luck with yeah. all the projects that you're working on. Amazing, thank you, Lewis. Thanks for having me. Thanks.